the product, the process, the people, ethos decorum. My name is Ron David Edwards and the name of my brand is Ron David. I launched Ron David in 2015 um, here in Washington, D.C., and um, it was my outlet to create beautiful things in a limited quantity uh, for fashion enthusiasts. How would you best describe your brand? That's a great question. My brand, to best describe Ron David, it would be an elevated conservative style. Um, classic pieces that are not so classic. How would you describe your customer? Oh, my customer is definitely working class. Um, work, I don't want to say working class. Um, I would say my customer is a working person, a working professional um, who loves fashion, who loves to express themselves um, in the way that they dress. And um, they like to feel exclusive. They like to be that person that comes into the room and people ask them, where did you get that? Or, oh girl, you look so good. What is that? You know, and that is the lady who my brand represents. It's providing those items for that girl, for that woman. I like to organize my racks and stories and each rack is gonna tell a story primarily primarily about the feel, but not only about the feel. It's gonna be about, can these items go together? Or maybe the textures or the text are, are the way, or the, the fabrics. Um, and so I like to kind of tell the story. If you look at the rack here, I have a navy story with white and gray, you know, but there are a couple of pieces that stand out that are kind of in the front, the middle, and in the back of the rack. And it just helps your eye uh, see how to read the story. So um, this is one of the one of my signature pieces in my collection, which is this beautiful uh, blouse with uh, with the ruffles. And I did I wanted to do a blouse that was substantial. So I mean, oftentimes you get a blouse and it's like a silk easy blouse. But this one I did pleats all over it with ruffles. And I wanted to do something that when you put this on with a pair of black pants or a trouser that you're going to know that this is a quality blouse. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces. It can be all year round. It's white. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with the skirt, wear it with black pants, gray pants. Love this piece. Um, also, I love big sweaters and I love things that you, I like to call them instant style uh, because you can just put it on with anything. You just look amazing right away. So this is a beautiful kimono, one size uh, kimono sweater. But what I did was I did this very staple fall colors, black and gray. And then I put this beautiful uh, mustard yellow uh, stripe on it, which gives it that elevated uh, look, but it's gonna cover you. You can put it on with black tights. If you just look at my ensemble today with black pants, it works. Um, it's very easy, very warm. It's a total neck, so you can kind of put this on with a nice uh, undergarment, a nice shirt underneath there, and you'd be nice and warm. One of my favorite pieces. Um, this is the last one. It sold out in a couple days. Um, I would say uh, I do have a lot of working professionals, and they just want things that they can put in their wardrobe that are a little bit more fun than the average Navy work suit or the average pair of slacks and a blouse. And so I put together these beautiful wool uh, dresses here that are gonna be nice and warm. They come with this turtleneck and all of my wool and my knits, I do viscose in the blend, which makes them very, very soft to the touch, very similar to cashmere, but it allows me to keep the price low and affordable for my clients. Um, I also put a lovely belt with it. You can also switch this out with whatever brand you like. If you want Gucci or Chanel, you can definitely put your favorite brand with it, but it's, it's super cute. The color is good. It's a burnt orange tan um, and it's really easy to wear and it's a classic shape. Um, also in my collection, you'll see um, this burnt orange has been a color that just looks so beautiful. This is a full length shirt dress that is just full of fabric and it has a lot of movement. I mean, if you, if you think about wearing this dress with like a pair of black knee high boots, this dress will just move, move, move. And it's one of those pieces that when you wear it and you walk in the room, people are going to be like, where did you get that dress? You know, where is it from? It's definitely a statement piece. And of course, this is the last one. All the rest of them have found a home. And, oh, love this. So I had a young lady that was going to a 
fundraising gala here in Washington and she didn't want to wear a cocktail dress. And so she says, Ron, what, what can I wear? And I said, hey, you need to wear this velveteen suit um, in red crushed velvet. And this is one of my favorite pieces. It, it's powerful. It's sexy. It's an easy something to wear. You don't have to put anything on with it except a pair of pumps. And um, one of my favorite pieces. If I was a woman, I would have this. It's so easy, so fun. And it's something different other than a dress. But it can be evening. You can wear the pants with a turtleneck. You can wear the blazer with the skirt. You can wear it with leather pants. You can wear it with boots, flats. You can just do so much with this. And I also did it in navy. Um, I did two in the red. And I did one in the navy. So everyone won't have the navy or the red. Just three total pieces um, all together. Lastly, but not least, I would say... I am definitely a fan of Chanel and I love tweeds. I think tweed is such a classic material. It's so sophisticated. And I know people are like, okay, Ron, why are you doing pink in the winter? Because I feel like colors don't have to be so seasonal. You know, what needs to be seasonal is the material. And this is a beautiful, beautiful take on a winter suit to a holiday party. Um, I did a, a really, really beautiful tailored tweed jacket. And with the pants, I did a culotte because I think culottes are fun. You can wear them with flats, you can wear them with pumps, and it's going to give you a lot of movement uh, right around the ankle. Uh, but I absolutely love this. I think every woman should have a tweed suit. Every woman. And I want to show you, this is also a lovely piece, which is this lovely, um, this is a material called Ella Contra. It's a faux suede, but what I love about it is that it has some stretch. It has give, and it doesn't make you sweat like uh, suede does. Uh, but it's very beautiful, and it's also a summer color that I did in a winter material. Um, I absolutely love it. It's so feminine. It's long. It covers the arms, covers the knees. And again, this is the last one. What's your favorite piece you ever created? <laughs> I would say, oh, that's a tough question. I really do love everything. <laughs> I love everything. Um, I would say the, the thing I love the most or the, what I'm like head over heels for are my handbags. I absolutely love handbags. I think your handbag says something about you. You know, it says what you carry. I mean, when you think about all the other famous brands in the world, people spend thousands of dollars because a handbag says something, you know, it says something, you know, and so I've always been infatuated with that. So creating my handbag collection has been one of the I, one of the things that uh, allowed me to express what I wanted to say with what I carry every day. So I am most passionate about handbags. Uh, I don't know at what age uh, I was where I was infatuated with bags. I think it was around the time when Kanye West had like the Louis Vuitton backpack and it made it like cool for people to carry bags or made it like cool for guys to carry bags. So I became really uh, infatuated with it. And when I wanted to carry a bag, I wanted something that I could use every day, but I could fit my laptop in it. I could put a bottle of water in it. I could fold things down and have all my life in a bag. And so that is what prompted me to design this green uh, tote here. This is the first ever uh, Ron David bag here. So it is a croc embossed lambskin. So there's two layers of lambskin that we fuse together and then we stamp the lambskin with a, a croc stamp. And um, the leather has already been dyed and, and tanned and we do one more layer of coloring over it. Um, but I wanted a bag that was elevated, an elevated classic. You know, how many people have a black tote or a work tote already? But when sometimes you want to wear something to work that just has a little bit more punch to it. You know, and so this one you can put a 13 inch MacBook, your car charger, the laptop charger, water, and it's professional, but it's still also fun. Um, so uh, one of my signatures of my handbags, um, as you see them, there there's no logo on the outside of the bag. There's nothing that says Ron David, but everyone knows that that's a Ron David bag. And what I wanted to do was make my signature the lining because who is in the inside of the bag? The consumer. You know, they're the ones that are fidgeting in it and see it every day. So all of my bags are going to have a uh, pop of color in the lining. Um, so this was my first ever bag. I did a royal blue 
suede, um, uh, lambskin suede uh, with a leather on the out um, stamp with the alligator stamp. So that's how you know it's a Ron David bag is that you're gonna see that lining in the inside. And of course we have the logo um, in the inside of the bag as well. Um, so when this, this was the first bag I ever made and then a lot of ladies were like, oh, I love the bag, but it's a little big, you know, can you scale it down? And so that is when I designed my signature tote. And this has been the bag that has been the hottest selling tote. Um, it's made again with ostrich embossed lambskin. And with this collection, I did the uh, the cayenne red suede lining, uh, which again is what the consumer will always see. They're gonna be inside the bag. So I wanted to make their experience uh, beautiful and fun just as much as the outside is fun for other people to look at. Um, they're all uh, measured to fit a pair of flats, a bottle of water, and a 13-inch MacBook um, because my line is, is, is geared and targeted for the working woman, you know, so they have things to do. They always have on a pair of pumps, but they want to have a pair of flats when they get on the metro. You know, they have their MacBook where they have to take work home. Um, they also have water because they want to be hydrated. And so I wanted to make a bag that you can zip all of that up and still look uh, very conservative, but also an elevated conservative uh, with a fun color. So this is my signature tote. Um, then we have, and the signature tote comes in the orange and then the Merlot. And the Merlot is also lined in the red cow suede as well. So super cute. Um, this has been something that has been a really, really hot seller, which are my zippy clutches. And I absolutely love these because they're unisex. I actually carry the um, the Sage, but they're really good because they can fit an iPad, but everything is not jumbled up into one uh, pouch. So you have one pouch for your iPad or whatever you have. Then you have your really easily accessible items like your keys, your credit card that fit in the inside of the pouches there. And so these pouches do fit inside of each bag, even the signature um, suede tote so that you can um, not have to worry about leaving things at home all the time. Maybe you always keep everything in here, but you always switch this out. And if you're going to a party that night, you can just take it and just wear it as a clutch and not have to switch them out. So I have them in the Sage and then the, in the Merlot, which is also really good. Uh, I call them elevated neutrals. And then lastly are my suede travel totes. And I love these because so many times people have a tote bag because they don't want to wear a structure bag on the weekends. Um, but these are fun. Um, they're made of suede, um, 100%. Um, really, really simple, but they are a pop of color. You know, so if you always just want to like wear something plain, you can always just put this tote on and like go to the grocery store or go to yoga or go somewhere fun. Now with this suede travel totes, I did logo them uh, because they're so plain, but they also have that pop and it's just a fun, uh, a fun tote. So I come in the orange. They also come in the gray, which has been a really, really hot color. And they also come in the blue, which is also one of the top sellers where everything sells. But <laughs> the blue is really, really nice. It's a fun, it's an easy neutral. It's easy neutral. And then the red, which is like the number one seller um, because it just has that hot look to it. And everyone loves like red lipstick. And so sometimes people like to wear this with red lips. How would you describe your relationship with your clients? Oh, they're so, they're so dear to me. Um, I am, I don't know if this is sounds mushy, but I really do love all of my clients. I've, I would say 70 to 80% of everybody that wears Ron David, I've personally shopped with them. I know what they like, I know what they're looking for. And it's something that I don't take for granted. I absolutely love it. Um, they know me, some of them up until recently, all of them have my email. They email me all the time about things that they want or things that they want to see. Um, it's special. It's a really special relationship. And that's why I focus more so on my retail space and creating an atmosphere as opposed to just throwing something online or on Instagram because it's not personal. And I really do enjoy that personal connection with my clients. I know what they're doing. I know where they're, where they're going, where they're traveling to. I know that they have a husband. I know some of their husbands like this and some of their husbands like that. And, you know, and sometimes they may like something that's a little busy, but their husband don't, you know. So it's a really interesting uh, relationship that I have, but it's very personal and I, I really appreciate that. I think I'm known for coats. 
everyone loves my coats. They sell out right away. Um, they're special. It's only sometimes only two. But this particular jacket, I only did two of these. So these are like what I like to call instant outfits because if you're busy all the time, you don't really have a lot of time to like try to figure out well, what look am I going to wear today. So this jacket is something that you wear with all black or all navy and it really just gives you a statement look. Um, look at that. This is gorgeous. I love little capettes and it just brings the waist in and it just looks great with just a black trouser. So beautiful. Uh, do you design by seasons or do you just de design by pieces that inspire you? Great question. So I actually design by season. I do a fall and I do a summer. Um, I don't do four sets of things. Usually, you know, fall, winter is one, which is very, you know, common with other designers. They do a spring, summer and a fall, winter because some of the pieces are transitional. I would say um, in my brand with Ron David, as opposed, you know, with Ron David, I, with an exception to my sweaters and my cashmere, most of the things that I produce can be worn all year. And that is something, that's how I am with my own wardrobe. Because I think, you know, when you already have your staples, you want to be able to pull out a piece all the time. You know, maybe you wear that blouse with a turtleneck under it, or maybe you wear the dress that you wear with boots. Maybe you put it on with some sandals, or maybe this silk top you can put with white pants, you can wear with black pants. And those are things that I try to make sure um, throughout my collection, always, everything is, everything is, is a, with an exception to the coats and the sweaters, are all year round. So I love this denim jacket. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's an oversized um, concert jacket, I like to call it, because I definitely see someone putting this on when they're going to a concert because they want to be festive, they want to be fun, they want to be easy, comfortable, but they also want to have a little bit of glitter so that people know that I am here. Um, one of my favorite pieces. I actually like to see this worn also as a cape. I want to show um, you what the cape looks like, but every jacket you don't have to wear with your arms in the sleeves. You know, some things look better as a cape, you know, so when you come into an event with this on, you just kind of like show up. Yeah, you just show up. You don't have to put your arms through all the sleeves. Uh, one of my favorite pieces in my collection. I'm in love with this. I would wear it if it was in my size. <laughs> so I'm starting to be known for my coats and they all, when you wear a coat, you wear it all the time. You wear it over everything that you have. And sometimes you just want a coat that when you put it on, you might have on this something really, really plain, but when you put this on, you'll feel amazing you'll feel beautiful it's a black and white uh wool tweed but i did a beautiful beautiful uh purple uh, nude which are also my play on the summer colors uh, embroidery on it with the floral which is you know floral all the rave right now floral patterns and prints so this is one of my favorite coats in the collection this is a what i like to call my dinner jackets these are the jackets that you wear when you go to dinner and you're not really trying to be warm. You just want to have on something plain and you put this dinner jacket over it to zhuzh up your look. So here, this is in a nylon material and I did uh, faux pearls and a, a leather rat on the pocket. But it's so beautiful, it's a statement all in itself. You can pull the waist in and cover up anything you want to hide there. Uh, but you still have the beautiful oversized plaid um, with the pearl detail and the leather red as well. So this particular jacket is only two of these and it has gotten rave reviews. I know they're going to find a home in the next couple days. Love it. So the most I'll make ever I made was five units of one jacket. And I felt really, really bad about that because that's not usually what I do, but people love this so much. The good thing is that they all went all around the United States. So they're not all here in, in, in Washington, DC. Um, but I only make usually one sample and then a small, medium and large, which is a total of four units. Um, some items are only sample. Some items don't go to sample. I just put them into production and um, my clients love that. They love that when they get something here, they are not gonna see themselves anywhere else with that piece on. Um, 
just for example, um, like this beautiful dress here. Um, this was only three units, you know, and they all have found a home and this is the last one. So once you do something this statement-y, you know, you don't want to see two people in a, an event with this on, you know, because whoever's going to wear this is going to steal the show. <laughs> so this is something that I love about my collection that I'm always, always going to do um, is keep it, keep it exclusive. Um, this year I did try my hand at suiting and, you know, of course I love Navy. Everything I have in my closet is Navy, but just in case you wanted to go to a gala and you didn't want to wear a dress, I figured that let's do a Navy tuxedo business suit, but with the elevation. You know, so you, you see this beautiful waist tie with the metallic um, thread. You also see the brooch on the lapel. I did a wide uh, lapel in the black um, tuxedo print, but it's super cute, easy, and um, you know, I'm taking a stab at suiting this season. Where do you see the brand in five years? Oh, I love thinking about the future. Um, so in five years, I see Ron David as a um, premier retailer um, for specialty brands. Um, I would love, my dream uh, for Ron David is to uh, to be, if you will, a Barney's co-op of, um, of new emerging designers and, and to really show the world um, new brands that are out, that are, that are fabulous, that are not in a warehouse, that are not in a pop-up per se, but to really be that gateway for other designers into the marketplace that they can say, like, if your things are carried in Ron David, it's high end. This is fabulous. This is this is the new next. And uh, that's where I see my clothing line and my retail stores in the next five years. Um, I'm also excited to see the Ron David handbags in, in larger retailers such as Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus and Saks. I would love to be the entry level um, handbag and leather goods for those brands because everything will still be made in small quantity.